All right, welcome everybody to Linmar tonight alongside Zafir Darcy and Tyler Clover. I'm TJ McCann. The Linmar Lions are taking on the Davenport Central, whatever they are tonight. Davenport Central. <laughs> it should be a good game. Last year, the Lions took on Davenport Central at Central. They've been playing there for the last few years, and this is a great opportunity for us to actually see them at home. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. Last year's game came down. It was really close. Uh, Limar prevailed 50 to 45 behind some solid play of the seniors, which are all lost this year. So it'll be interesting to see how this year's team stacks up, considering Davenport Central as well lost a bunch of their players from last year. And about every year, both teams have a great team. This year, Limar is ranked second in the state, and Davenport Central followed close behind at 13. So this is no game to be playing around with. Both teams can clearly take a big jump in the stats. I agree. I agree. And definitely, uh, the key to tonight's game is definitely going to be who can stay out of foul trouble more. Obviously, Limar has more depth than Davenport Central. Uh, we have one of the deepest teams I believe we've Chris, uh, Coach Robertson's ever had. Uh, they can go 10 deep, you know, without without losing a step. Um, senior uh, Central, on the other hand, is not as deep. If you can get, if the Lions could get them in foul trouble and really take it take it in low and get the, get those guys into trouble, I feel like they can come out on top in this one. Senior's going to be a really tough game tonight, and I expect a really close one going down the wire. Should be entertaining. I agree. Um, as Matt Bohannon puts it, it's going to be a challenging game. We're about to get underway with the Linmar's season opener against Davenport Central at Marion, Iowa. Uh, let's throw it over to Mr. Brickmeyer for tonight's starting lineup. Tip. 
And these you. fans are ready to rumble. Are they ever? Oh, I'm loving it. It's that time of year. Oh, yeah. They're ready for a while. Taking the tip off is number 40, Darius Stokes, and Tavion Pomley for Davenport Central. Davenport Central controls the tip out there. Right there, that's Tavion Pomley with the ball. Pass it up. Tavion Pomley with the little baby hook. That's good. Their inside presence is clearly, they have a lot more bulk up front than we do. So we'll have to take, we'll have to keep an eye on them and see if uh, they can use that to their advantage tonight, Safir. Uh, I think this is going to be a great test for our new starting forward, Darius Stokes. Let's see how well he can match up to Tavion Pomley. First look of an offense of the year for Lions. And the first shot was Matt Bohannon. Rebound control by Josh Harris there, six foot forward. So, so far you got Davenport Central 2-0 right off the bat with a minute in. Because Lamar, Lamar doesn't face the zone here as Marcus Page. Now right down down the the with the three! As I was saying, uh, Lamar hasn't faced the zone in a long time, so we'll see. We'll have to see how our shooters can, uh, can attack it and hopefully they can get in the seams. Snap so O'Hannon pushes it up the floor with the rebound ahead of Darius Stokes. Limbaugh really trying to get things running but not paying off right away. Tavion. Not Tavion, correction. That was Harris for two. Shane Benton missing at the hole. Limbaugh missing a few early looks here. It looks like Davenport Central is definitely going to try to score some fast break points. It's the shot is good. Number 22, Zach Burnheim. I believe he is a junior. Didn't get very many minutes last year. He was on the sophomore team. He looks pretty excited right there. This central team seems really fired up. Five-point game last year. I bet they think they could have won, won it. Lots of experience returning this year. Limbaugh's young team. This could be a really fun game. Shane Benton just missed on that three-pointer. It seemed a little early to take that three. Um, what's your guys' input on our, on our zone breaker so far? So far, it looks like it's going a little bit good, a little bit bad. Limar's trying to press it a little bit, maybe getting a little anxious. Limar crowd rising to the action. Marcus Page with the rebound as he looks up court to Matt Bohannon. So far, Limar seems really aggressive, but so does Central. Central seems like a much more mature team as well. A few older guys. Yeah, they're lot taller than a Limar. Yeah, Tyler, their physicality really seems to be bothering Limar right now. Although Limar's just not making enough shots. 41 there. That is Josh Harris with the turnover. The Limar basketball. The score currently is Davenport Central 6, Limar 3, with 5-12 to play in the first quarter. I really like this early lead that Central came out. You can show the fire and passion they want this. Maybe a little, I, I wouldn't say a little more than uh, Linmar, but at this point they look like the more aggressive, maybe from that loss last year. And that's Will Rolf taking it hard to the basket to draw the foul, go to the line for two. Yep, Tavi and Pomley with the foul there, that's his first. This Linmar team came on in with a lot of expectations this season. It's going to be interesting to see how they mend together so far to be able to play together, live up to that number two in the state ranking behind Zanes. Yeah, Will Rowe makes the first of two free throws. And Tyler, to go along with what you were saying, this couldn't have, they couldn't have asked for a better test right off the bat. I mean, just for them to see where they are as a team. And this Downport Central team is clearly uh, one of the most physically mature teams they're going to be playing all year. And so to get them right off the bat is a great, great test for Coach Robertson and the rest of his staff to see where, where these young guys are right off the bat. Yes, it's a very young, well not so young. I mean, physical and very athletic team that Lumar's dealing with, and they're going to learn how to see how to guard these guys because they're not doing too great of a job right now.